Whoa! Hey guys, what's going on? It's Anna with Love and Lady Cakes, and I'm so excited to be back on the Sweeten Channel where I'm going to be making for you live this really awesome key lime icebox pie. Wait, no, cake. Key lime icebox cake. I'm calling it a cake because it's layered up with these delicious, just shortbread vanilla cookies. Look at all these beautiful cookies here. But how are you guys? Are you excited to see me back today? Say a thumbs up if you like that. So yeah, we're just uh, you know here in Texas today. It's really windy. Where are you watching from? Let me know in the comments below. And guys, I also have to let you know that there will be only one more live event, and that'll be next Thursday. So make sure to follow me at the top. It says Lovely Lady Cakes. Lovely Lady Cakes. Click on it and find me so we can always stay in touch if you have any baking needs. But today, I'm really excited about this cake. It reminds me of the South. Um, I used to make this a lot. My mom, my grandma. Um, it's just super simple. It's made with fresh whipped cream. And I'm going to show you how to make the whipped cream live. And typically, you can use any kind of thin cookie. You can make your own cookies. I've seen um, chocolate little wafer cookies. Those are really good because it's just chocolatey and good. And um, so you can make those if you want, find that little recipe. But I'm just using, from the grocery store, plain old vanilla cookies. Whew. Are we getting comments? No. Comments are down? That's try, okay. Try looking at my phone. So I will read comments. How do we do this live? I did this the other day. Let me find you guys. I did say that Karen Yancey joined. Hey, that's my aunt. And Laura Bowling joined. Oh, that's my sister. Okay, there I am. Let's see if we can see the comments. Whoa. Okay, I've got comments. Whoa, this is creepy. That looks beautiful. Thanks, Laura. Okay, guys. So, yeah, I'm just going to get going. We're making fresh whipped cream. Now, you could buy Cool Whip if you like. That's totally fine. But I'm a fresh whipped cream kind of gal. Are you? So, I'm just going to do whipped cream. Typically, I would like my bowl nice and cold. And we're using a whisk here on my KitchenAid. You can use a handheld mixer. But I find if your bowl is cold and your whisk is cold, when you add this cold whipping cream, it just goes really quickly. So I'm using about a cup and a quarter here of fresh, you know, heavy whipping cream. And then we're going to get a little sweet. So I've got one fourth cup, just regular sugar. Yes, and let this go. Let this whisk. I see if you have any comments. You've never tried with fresh whipped cream crystal, you have to make it. It's so easy. You can flop it on your ice cream or your pies. Um, but yes, it's super simple. One and one fourth cup of whipping cream and one fourth cup of sugar. So you have to make it and it's going to do its thing for a bit. Comment time. Comments. Where are you guys watching from? I'm here in Texas today. And I only have one more live event left oh, next Thursday. So you have to follow me so we can stay in touch. But look at our whipped cream. It's starting to thicken up. Look at it go. Come on, whipping cream. Hello from Colorado and Belgium. We're celebrating Pakistan Day in Pat. Say hi. Hello. Madison, Wisconsin, Kentucky. Hey, Sophia. She's in Grimsby, England. All right. Like a jet engine. Yeah. Oh. Houston, Texas. Philippe. I love it. Okay, so then we just check it. Actually, I think it needs to go just a little bit more. And it is very easy to over whisk whipped cream. It starts to look like it's broken. But we want ours to be nice and silky and smooth. So you just keep letting it go. Alright. So look at that. Fresh whipped cream in, what, one minute? <laughs> but yeah, we just are looking for nice, thick whipped cream here. And I said if you over whisk it, that's okay. You just add a little bit more of your heavy whipping cream and it'll come back to life. So you can never ruin it here. But look at this, a little fresh whipped cream. Now what I think I'm going to do is I want to bump up the flavor. 
So the flavor of lime, lime juice and lime zest. Um, just right on into the bowl. I have a cheese grater. You can use your microplane, but I've recently moved so I can't find my microplane. But yeah, this is just going to give it some really good fresh aroma when you go to bite into this yummy cake. Yeah. Oh, it smells delicious. Some people like to add the juice, but honestly, just this little bit of the rind of a fresh little key lime. Make sure you wash it first. Philippe wants to know, are you using Maria's cookies? Maria's cookies? You know what? Ma Maria's, you're right. I just picked them up at the grocery store. There they are. Da, 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 da. Yes, they're really good. So honestly, I just picked up whatever I found, um, a little butter cookie that was round, because I like the round shape that we're gonna make right here. So if you're tuning in, this is what we're making. It's the Key Lime Icebox uh, Cake. And so the cookies, when you add this whipped cream, is going to make the cookie really soft, so when you cut into it, you're gonna get like, like a slice of cake. And um, you kind of put it in the refrigerator for up to two to four hours, so it just kind of gets cold and, and um, yeah, it's kind of a cool effect. And I'm, I'm bumping it up with this yeah. key lime. You can smell it, it smells good. Yeah, it smells delish. Key lime goodness. Sarah says hello from Brazil. Hey Sarah. So look at that, it's just gonna add a pretty flavor. Oh, it smells delicious. Okay, now to bump it up. Bump it up more? Bump, bump yeah. it up. Actually, I'm not happy with what it's looking like, so I'm just gonna whisk it just a little bit more. Whisk time. I don't want it to Jen, fall out. Jen Klein says, that looks so good. Cool. I'm get a little more cream too, sorry. All right. Um, we have, so this is hi from Pakistan. Love your recipe. Say hi. Hello. What's your name? Uh, Sadia. Sadia. I believe I'm saying it right. Gemma says hello from New Zealand. Hello from New Zealand. We're just baking today. It's one of those. Actually, we're not baking anything. We're just constructing a cake out of whipped cream and cookies that we bought at the grocery store. Maria's cookies. Nancy says, hello from New Hampshire. I'm thinking about making this tomorrow. Yes. And Lauren it. says, hi from Kansas City. I'm about to make this for my kids today. Do it. You know, I put these adorable little figurines on top. So it could even be for a kid's birthday party. I mean, it is so easy. You just whip it, whip it. If you wanted to get even crazier, you could dye the whipped cream a fun color and maybe do interchanging. Great of the whipped cream, like different colors, like a unicorn ice box, you know? Yes. All right, so let's do it. So you can either, you know, put this on a plate or whatnot. I have a little round cardboard, and I, oh. Sorry, one. Yes? Uh, hi, my kids say hi. They love your cakes. Can hi. you say hi, Camille and Keyfix? Hi, Camille and Keyfix. I hope I said that right. <laughs> Sorry Thanks for watching, guys. Find me, Lovely Lady Cakes. Um, making all kinds of desserts and whatnot every Saturday. Well, I used to make cakes a lot every Saturday, but I have a daughter now, so she kind of, you know, takes up a lot of our time. But we're still making cakes. All right, so also, I just wanted to add one or two little drops of this green to make a lime green whipped cream. Whee. So you can also... Give a little spring fill. Yeah. A little springtime. You know, I'm still not liking. See, it's not thick. Let me go one more time. Oh. I'm getting nervous because you guys are, you know, watching me live. Let it go. Just a little bit longer. I like it just a little bit thick so when you add the cookies, it's not going to spread out on the side. It's going to hold the cookies up and keep a nice base for that. <laughs> Rachel Simpson says, hi from the United Kingdom. That hi, looks Rachel. so gorgeous. Thanks. It's so simple, too. It's the most simplest little cake you can make. We're talking fresh whipped cream and cookies, guys. Okay, this is looking better. I just wanted it to be a little bit thicker. And like I said, if my bowl had been just a little bit colder, that might have worked. Okay, so I'm just putting a little thin layer down 
on my cardboard so when my cookie goes on, it's not going to slide around, right? It's oh. stuck on there. It's like a little nice trick. trick. Yes. And I'm going to go for the shape of a cake. So I've just got all my cookies, placing them in a nice little circle. Bam. So then we just add a little layer right there. And you can layer this up as, as, as high as you guys want. Um, but I'm telling you, it's going to be good. I sometimes have used chocolate wafer cookies. You could do lemon curd. You could do buttercream. You be the judge, but I like the fresh taste of just whipped cream and that cookie. And then let's start in the middle again. And then you just want to do it in between. So we're getting a fun scalloped look. On the outside and like I said this takes about two to four hours to set in the refrigerator and someone's asked how to make lemon tart so that's a good a lemon tart oh that sounds really good maybe I'll make that for my last video next week Nancy says I'm from uh, New Hampshire we need spring just had 24 inches of snow last Whoa. week stay warm okay I like it I hope it doesn't get cold anymore I really love the sunshine. I love spring. But yes, if you're just tuning in, check out this little icebox cake we're making. It's got uh, key lime zest in our whipped cream. I dyed it green for a fun spring look. Karen Yancey says, key lime cake, a yummy spring and summer dessert. Yeah, I'll bring it over later, okay? <laughs> okay, Mama K. Uh, yeah. Jen says, I bet Oreos would be amazing with some fresh whipped cream and chocolate yes. pudding mix. Love oh, the ideas. That's a great idea using pudding even. That's really good. And if you want, you could do like a little pudding in the center and then around it so it won't spill out, you know. Maybe put um, your whipped cream so it won't spill out. Everywhere. Someone's asked, I wonder if the cookies... Uh, will spoil when you cut it like is it gonna be hard or soft it's gonna be very soft it's like the whipped cream is just gonna turn those cookies into like cake it's pretty cool like soft soft cookies okay dudes I totally measured out this whipped cream to make that entire thing but clearly you didn't want to <laughs> so we're gonna keep going I'm gonna make some more whipped cream but but I can talk to you I can talk to you while we do that do you put it in the fridge? Yes, we put it in the refrigerator, and it's going to take about two to four hours to set up. And um, you can make a whole bunch of these and give them away to your friends. Look, I'm just going to pour the rest in there so we can make some good whipping cream. Make it more whipping cream from scratch. One and one-fourth cup of um, heavy whipping cream with one-fourth cup of sugar to give it just a fun, sweet flavor. I put some key lime zest inside there and we're just layering up these cookies to make a pretty little cake happen oh i bet you guys are ready for me to cut into the cake huh? we, we have we've had some comments on yes, just that they are ready i used to make this um at my very first bakery that i would bake at my very first job in the field what was your very first job Mine was a cupcake place, and I made cupcakes all the time. And we had fun little desserts on the side, like cookies and brownies, and these little icebox cakes. They were delicious. Harry Ray says, amazing idea, and looks pretty easy. It's so easy, and it tastes really good. And like I said before, I just got some cute little figurines to put on top. You've got a birthday cake, you know? Super easy, and um, yeah dyeing it a light green you could do multiple colors maybe like pink right here in this layer a blue yeah, you purple a, a yellow so it looks like a unicorn icebox cake patricia wants to know will you provide the recipe yes i will at, at the, the end, end of this video and Nur asks how long does it have to be refrigerated um i would all i would eat it as fast as you can no, after you made it because <laughs> it's so good uh, you can keep it in the refrigerator up to three days, four days tops, because, you know, it starts to get real soggy if you don't eat it, but two, two to three days tops. Mm. Alright, we're almost done with our second batch of whipping cream. 
fresh whipped cream. But like I said, you can buy Cool Whip, that's just fine. We're gonna dye it a little green color. Tweak. So do you guys bake a lot? Like what's your favorite thing to bake? My birthday was a few days ago and oops, and I love butter cake. So we went to a restaurant and got delicious butter cake um, with raspberry sauce on the side. It's so good. But my favorite thing to bake, I think, would be sh uh, cookies. I love just eating cookie dough. Who doesn't? <laughs> Who doesn't love cookie dough? This okay. is true. Jen Klein says a banana pudding one with vanilla wafers would be great. That's perfect. Ruby says brownies. That must be their favorite. Yes, brownies. to make. Yes, brownies. And Nancy has says my says weakness. happy belated birthday. Thank you, Nancy. Yes, my weakness is brownies or cookies. You know. Sherry says, cupcakes, red velvet, or hummingbird cake. Ooh, a hummingbird cake. Okay, guys, so I have one more live event left. What should I make? Uh, I have no clue. I'm trying to think what I should make. Leave us some ideas that Leave you want to see for our last live I know, isn't stream it next sad? week. Next Thursday at 2 p.m. will be our last. So you have to follow me. Stay in touch. I love your questions. A lot of you will take your photos of what I make and post it on my Facebook page. Lovely Lady Cakes. Um, go click on that little uh, Lovely Lady Cakes at the top of this page. So we will stay in touch. Um, I make video cake videos. I'm on YouTube, Instagram. Find me on all those fun social medias. Julie has Bye. reminded you that you forgot the line. <gasps> Julie! <laughs> You're right. I did forget the line. That's okay. But this still one. still taste good. This one has the line. Yes. Yes. We're, we're live. You know, things, you forget things. But how about one more layer? I'm thinking one more layer. Look nice and tall. Can you eat it before it's so soft? I would love the crunch, but I guess cutting would be hard though. There's still crunch because the outer ends aren't going to get the whipped cream. So you have this soft center and then a crunch from the cookies on the outside. So it's like the best of both worlds, this little mini cake here. Mini icebox cake. And icebox just means you're putting it in the refrigerator to get nice and cold. Whoops, that one's upside down. That's okay. They're all upside down. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my goodness. We're almost to the end. And so the, the end is real simple. We just put a nice little plop of whipped cream on top. If you want, you could let this go a little further so you'll get some peaks um, on top. Because it's nice and just real thin right now. But I like to put a lot. And then just kind of do one of these so get some peaks going. Make it look fun. And then choose whatever kind of sprinkles you like. I've got my crazy pink unicorny sprinkles. Ta-da! Look how simple this was. Are you excited? So, yes, yeah, sticking this in the refrigerator because it's not ready yet. Two to four hours. And let's cut into this one. I think it's mad. Make a little slice. See, look how thin it's just cutting. <laughs> Let me get a plate. Okay. Need a plate. I have that blue one, but that's okay. We're cutting our icebox cake. This is so cute, guys. I think if you did a banana and um, vanilla pudding, vanilla pudding one, that would be good. And you could add some little banana slices in between. So, oh yes. I just love this because it's fresh. See all those layers? It's just fresh with whipped cream and our cookies, who, if you didn't know me, is my favorite. Um, <laughs> oh, you want to bite, honey? I will definitely partake. Mm. I'm reading comments. <laughs> Guys, that is so good. If you make it. Post a photo, please, on Twitter. Find me at Lovely Lady Cakes. Post it on Instagram at Lovely Lady Cakes. Um, another little shameless promotion is my next venture. If you are interested in what I do, um, since I make cakes my whole life, I also am a mom. Are you a mom out there? Raise your hand. Give me some likes. I have developed a lactation cookie, and I'm about to launch it April 6th. So I'm making these awesome lactation cookies. For nursing mothers who are trying to produce up to maybe a few more ounces of breast milk 
And um, I'm really, really excited to share my fun new cookie with you. It tastes good, it has organic ingredients, and it's vegan. So go find me as well, Boom Food, so you can order yours. And um, yeah, this is my next fun little adventure that I'm planning on doing. Thank you so where, much. Where can you find it at? Boom Food Cookies? Boom Food Cookies dot com or Facebook, Boom Food Cookies. Boom Food! <laughs> Shameless promotion, but I just have had so much fun working with you guys. I've got one more left, and I don't want to lose you guys, so you've got to find me. You've got to go type it in and find me. Thanks so much. I hope you enjoyed how to make this key lime icebox cake. See you later, guys. Thanks for watching.